Need a ride, friend? Uh, wh whatever you say. Yeah! Give me the great plane! Pick it off, friend. I'll wake you when we arrive. I'm just gonna have a rest. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. Hungar got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and... Poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but... In the morning, we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learn to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies.
Hello, sir. All right. We should get moving. Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right Let now. Them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? Look out! You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I uh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices, but all that, that life, it's over now. Paul, oh, was it something to do with Mr. Dudgeon Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names, that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. Let's go! So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see that ranch. It's what ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper that ranching's dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. You shouldn't believe everything you read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. You can be whatever you want, son, but for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. Come on. We shouldn't talk now, Jack. We don't want to waste all our breath before we even get there. Come! There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Slow down. John Marston. Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out to crow now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Come on. Alright, 
Jack, you're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarlane. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's take after his father. How's your wife? Come on. She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. Whoa! Come on! Slow it up now. See you again, Miss McFarland, and thanks for Call everything. Me funny, you don't. Jack, we need to move him across the river. Jack, this don't look right. 
I'll deal with this! Stay with the herd, Jack! That's all up. Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! Hey, watch it! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Alright. Let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Easy. Jack! Head left up the road towards home! I know where I'm going, Paul! Love you, son. Thanks, Paul. That's got to be more exciting than those books of yours. Oh, uh, sure. If nearly getting killed is your idea of exciting. Whoa. Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Yeah. There you go. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet.
What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. 
I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Let's go! Easy. All right. Now stay close to the dog, son. Whoa. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. The rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me, hun. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Slow up. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Jack, he's on to something. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Let's go. Show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not Woo! rush it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Find another one, Rufus. Why are you stop? Ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Hey, whoa there. Come on, boy. Come on. You can find him, boy. Where is it, boy? Whoa. What have you found, Rufus? There they are! Jack, come on! That's it, son. Come on! You can do this. Stay calm. Steady now. Don't rush it. You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Come on. Yeah. 
Easy. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? This is dirty. Hey, watch it! Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Well, how do you do, Mr. Marston? Hello. Hello, sir. Dear sir, hello. You say so. Well, let's see what we can do for you. Options to suit any pocket. Oh, who there, huh? I'll do. I best get out there and do me some hunting. No, me Bye. Digas. Next year, the trains will be hey. running. Now you're all set. My word. Hola, That's gonna have to do for now. See you again, I hope. All done. Let's head home. The selection bothers and confuses. They always do. Hey, mister. Just let me know what you need. Thank you. Surely, thank you. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did have to work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, who 
enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk, and growing up. Proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. Let's go! Whoa there! Oh, Paul, that was so much fun! I can't rightly believe it! Just like in the books! We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores.